Hello, good morning. Where are my kids? Where are my students? Hope you're there waiting for our new English lessons. We already start our You Write fifth week of English online lessons with teacher Nina. So, here we go. Let's start. Okay, my kids. So, we can start our third lesson in this week and we were talking about the time, about the clock, right? So, as you can remember from our previous lessons, uh, I told you that the clock, the clock has the clock face, right? And you can see the numbers from 1 till 12 and also you can see hands. We have two hands, one is the longer and one is the shorter. And when the longer hand, the minute hand, right, is pointing to the number 12, so, and the smaller hand is pointing to the uh, numbers, other numbers, so we say o'clock. We say o'clock. Like, for example, when the longer one is pointing to the 12 and the shorter pointing to the 1, we say it's 1 o'clock, o'clock, right? But when the longer hand is pointing to the number 6 and the shorter to the other numbers, so we say half past, right? Half past. So that's what I would like you to remember. So telling the time, what time is it, right? We ask the question, what time is it? What time is it, okay? And we look at the clock or our watch and we can answer. So a little story today, a little story today. I'm going to read it for you. So, as you can see, it's time to wake up in the morning, in the morning, right? It's time, it's time to wake up, wake up and go to school. It's time to wake up and go to school. So, I asked you the question, last time I asked you the question, what time do you wake up? Did you write in your book? Did you draw the hands, right? I hope you did. So, time to get up. Let's go. Time to get dressed. Time to get dressed. Put on your clothes, right? Hurry up. Let's go, right? In the morning, usually we have to hurry up, right? Because it's no time, right? It's no time. We have to hurry up. Okay. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. It's good for you. Okay. So don't forget to eat your breakfast because it's good for you. You can start your day after your breakfast. Don't complain. Just eat. Okay, then it's time for school. Then it's time for school. Time for math class. Time for English lessons, right? It's study time. It's study time. Grab your books and let's go. Grab your books and let's go. Then it's time, a little time for relax. Right? So it's time to play with my friends. It's time to play with my friends. Time to do what I want. It's time to do what I want. Okay? So time to go and play outside. Put your shoes on and let's go. Put your shoes on and let's go. Then it's time to eat some sweet candy. Okay, one time. 
you can eat some sweet candy, okay? Time to watch a movie when you relax. Time to go home and brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, right? Time to sleep. Time to sleep and saying good night. Night night. Okay? So that's our that's our routine. That's our routine. And we ask usually during the day so many times. What time is it? What time is it? Right? So let's practice. Little minion is telling, let's practice. So let's open your book. Let's open your workbook. I'm sorry. Let's open your workbook. Page 15. Uh, first exercise. Page 15. Okay. So let's take your pencil and draw hands on the clothes to show the correct time. So today we're going to practice. The number one, the number one, five o'clock. Do you remember? Five o'clock. Let's draw the five o'clock. When we say o'clock, we remember the longer hand is on the number, is pointing to the number 12. And the shorter, you write the number five. So it's five o'clock. Do you have the same? I hope you did exactly the same. Okay, the number two, the number two we have half past seven, aha, uh -huh, half past. It means the longer hand is pointing to the number six and then the shorter to the seven, like between seven and eight. So we say it's half past seven, right? Half past seven. Do you have the same? Okay, the number three, the number three. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, when we say eight o'clock, o'clock, right? So we know that the longer hand is pointing to the number 12. And the shorter is pointing to the number eight. You write the number eight. So eight o'clock, it looks like that, right? Do you have the same? Do you have the same? Good, well done. Okay, half past, half past 11, half past 11, it means the longer hand, it has to be on the number, uh, it has to point to the number 6 and the shorter between 11 and 12, between 11 and 12. So let's have a look. Yes, we are done. Okay, guys. So now we have exercise number two let's have a look at the exercise number two what do we have write the correct time under each clock use the words in the box to help you so we have half past we have half past and o'clock o'clock so the number one what is the number one? Is it half past or o'clock? Half past or o'clock? What do you think? What's the time? It's one o'clock. Well done. The first picture, it's one o'clock. O'clock. Okay. The second one, okay. It's six o'clock. Well done. The second one, it's six o'clock. And the uh, uh, long hand, is pointing to the 12 and the short to the number 6. And the last one, did you write the same? Do you have the same time? Half past 12. Half past 12. Okay, so that's our correct time. So, great job, guys. Great job, guys. I hope you will be familiar with our time okay so before we finish let's have a look can you tell the time L can you tell the time what time is it what time is it 12 o'clock three o'clock or half past three what do you think the longer hand is pointing to the 12 and the shorter 
to the number three. So what do you think? Is it the number? Is it the twelve o'clock? Mm, is it the three o'clock or half past three? What do you think? What's the answer? Of course, a three o'clock because the longer is pointing to the number twelve, right? And the shorter to the number three. Well done. Okay, one more. What time is it? What time is it? Ten o'clock? Half past twelve or twelve o'clock? Look at the hands and we have the longer pointing to the twelve. So we know it's o'clock, right? Definitely it's o'clock. Which one? Ten o'clock or twelve o'clock? Of course you're right, because the shorter is pointing to the ten, so we say it's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. Well done. And the last question. I promise to you, that's the last one. Okay, half past six, six o'clock or half past four? What time? What's the answer? The shorter, it's pointing between four and five. Between four and five. So, of course, you're right. It's half past four. It's half past four. So, well done, guys. I'm going to give you a sticker because you did perfect you did perfect and i hope after this week you can tell me what time is it what time is it you can answer the question what time is it thank you so much i'm going to see you next week thank you bye